Hello everyone and uh, let's solve another problem. This time we will solve let code problem 11 container with most water. It's of difficulty medium but actually after we understand the theory of solving this problem the coding will be easy to implement. So what's the problem? We are given a list of integers in order. The order it matters because the first one represents the length of the first one and second one eight represent the length of the second let's call it pile and third one the length of the third one and so on so we are given a list of length and we want to store water between two piles so that we will have the maximum size of water or the maximum area that we can have between two piles like is it between the first one and last one this will be the area it will be of height one and width one two three four five six seven eight so the answer will be eight while the correct answer is mentioned here by the color red is between the second one and the last one the last one is of height seven and the second one of height eight and of course we will choose the smallest height multiplied by the width here is 7 by 7 and it will be 49 the correct answer so why we choose the minimum height not the highest height because if we store a water between two walls let's say in the width in the width between two walls it cannot go higher than the uh, shortest wall because the water will float out and it cannot contain it so the height will be the smallest one multiplied by the width. So now we understand the problem, how we solve it. We can simply take this, let me copy it or not from here, let me take this one, this one, okay. And we bring it here. We take this array and we try to find the possible area between and any two combination like one with eight one with six one with two one with five one with four one with eight one with three one with seven and then eight with six eight with two but this way of solving this problem it will be big o of n squared so it's not very efficient can we do better yes we can do better so simply the area it's width multiply by height so we try to maximize the width and we try to maximize the height we need to find the correct combination between width and height that will give us the maximum area the height we don't know the height we can't get any numbers any random numbers for the height so we don't know where's the highest height where's the smallest height but the width is kind of kind of known to us so it start from here from zero and the maximum width is to the end so from start to the end is the maximum width and we know that for sure so we can start with maximum width okay our initial it will be maximum width so we'll have index left equals zero and index right equal length of array minus one okay so zero one two three four five six so on okay so we have this index and you have this index and simply right minus left it will be our width our width will be right minus left so we start the with the maximum width possible and we have two heights one here one here we multiply width by the minimum of two heights this one and this one because we cannot go higher than minimum and we get an area we get an area if we we start with the result equals zero if this area is bigger than result we store it in the result if not 
what we do we will shift one of these indexes either the left one we shift it inside or the right one we shift it inside so we make the width smaller for the sake of finding a better height this is the idea but which one we shift do we have to shift the right one or do we have to shift the left one logically we have to shift the shorter one the shorter one because this of length one if we shift this here we didn't increase the height we only decrease the width and there's no point of decreasing the width without increasing the height of course the area will be smaller there's no way of decreasing the width without increasing the height and we will get a better area a higher area so what we shift we shift the smallest height one index like here and we get this point and then we calculate the area for this and we have a new area and we check a new area with the result which one is higher is the new area higher than the result or the result still higher if a new area higher than the result we replace it and we continue so on at this point we shift the left index to the right here we shift the right index to the left still not good we shift it to the left and we get a new height this is a new height this will be our new area and we calculate this area and we find is the previous area higher or the new area is higher and so on in this example we get 49 is the best area but if we have the height is like this for example and this height is like this we would get a new area better than 49 let's say 1 2 3 4 5 and let's say this is for example 12 multiply it by 5 and the answer will be 60 so I think uh, uh, the explanation is clear of how to find the best area and this operation we will visit each each height each point here one time so it will be it will be big O of n which is much more efficient than O of n square so let's go to Jupyter lab and start coding so simply first we start with the left right indexes and it will be starting from zero and length of height minus one then we initialize the result to be equal to zero and we say while left is smaller than right so while the index left is to the left of right so it's smaller than right we calculate the area and we say area is simply right minus left multiplied by the minimum of height for index left and height for index right so this is the temporary area and we we store the biggest area in result so which one is biggest so we say max current result or the new area is the biggest we will put it in result and here if height of left is smaller than height of right then we need to shift the left index index we increase it by one otherwise we shift the right index we decrease it by one and that's it here we return the result it's that simple we copy the code uh, let's go now to the lead code and test it there so i pasted the code here let's submit and we see and it works perfectly fine thank you very much for watching please don't forget to leave a comment and i see you in the next video